never thought she'd see you two together. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Well, I used to fly a kite. It would fly into a tree and get stuck there. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Yo, my chocolate is finally... You're a lousy chocolate. Well, yes. And... And? <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. That's the theme? Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. Cool. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. Does that mean I get to make a kite? The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. So, Ningguang organized a private meeting with Miss Charlotte to ask for her help in fostering cooperation with the right people. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Okay. But... You're not putting that on the kite, right? Because that kind of defeats the purpose of flying a kite. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Agreed. Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. A sweet what? Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Nah, I like the traditional way. Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. There needs to be a third option, but I like the old way, dot dot. Right? I also thought it was in- With Miss Charlotte's right, help, I'm everything hit- We also I'm gave- uh, Toys? You see, Miss Kuchin- Hmm... Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, but to me- Think for a second about how remarkable it is. There's nope. an old poem that goes, O oh, kite, born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. In the past, poets from Liyue used kite. If the people of today can derive and That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. <laughs> As long I also know, for example, oh my gosh, you talk so much about kites. More fun. I want to have fun. My grandfather told me that first, you fun. then, you some people write down certain are certain design fun, hmm. fun. Well, fascinating. Go and talk. What else can you tell me? Else. The scissor tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes are these commonly understood? Hmm. I believe if you're interested, Miss huh? Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. Who is it? They could be a useful reference. They're staring at us, you know what that means? They're thieves! That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for Kuwait. Cool. Perfect! We're gonna- Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home. Ah, I almost forgot. The if you're interested, the rules are simple. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the- Uh, maybe tone it down a bit, Tra- It's better to keep a low profile <laughs> and tell the competition. <laughs> then I'll look for- You bet! We're gonna lose, because everyone's gonna have a motor. Wait, Traveler? Take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Yep. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Huh. Something's up. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They 
Until we... Oh, I'm on sick of waiting around for something Why bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. City. Foil their plans before they even begin. Oh my gosh. You go right, Paimon will go left. Wait. Oh my gosh. Paimon, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do all the work. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it is with such an air of oh urgency gosh, that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. <laughs> is it who I think it is? Whoa! Where did this buddy daddy come from? You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy! Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you- uh. One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. <laughs> you stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Moon Carver? You look so different. I like your other form. You know, your original one. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. Hojong? <laughs> <clears throat> you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. Ha! Don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Ha! Huh. Looks like you did your research. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you... Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. Right. Tell us something that only an... <sighs> <laughs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? True. The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, <laughs> did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? <laughs> uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <laughs> Forget it. One does not- Ah, uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal and Paimon sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> but, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is- You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just, Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? True, what are you doing here? Hmm. <sighs> it is but an inevitable eventuality. <laughs> Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liyue Harbor. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't gotten to that personal story quest yet. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed <laughs> to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid, cloud retainers in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh, so you're not looking for cloud retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque <laughs> to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, oh, no. one Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. <laughs> oh, no. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. 
One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. <laughs> One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. <laughs> they fear her. They're afraid of her. <laughs> However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure, leave it to us. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble, and it turned out to be people. Well, it's Paimon, still pretty early. You're the one who got Let's worked up. Let's head over and check out. Paimon wants to see what kind. What is she talking about? She's the one who panicked. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Woo! Assistant Kelsey! Ah, uh, this jade chamber design. Does it also have a unique. Of course. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of cat! I apologize for the interruption, but are. Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper. Wonderful! I'll pack them up and get a guard. You want what? Oh, wonder what... Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you... Is Gaming the guard? Yes, the community... Uh, the problem, if you were willing to... You do seem really pressed for time. Oh, wonderful. Now, at this time of day, Gaming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. Nice, give me a discount. Sweet. <clears throat> Wait, I thought we had an agreement. Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. <laughs> hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to... <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Perfect! Gaming is here! Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs- Oh! That must have been Longzhou. Looks like I've got work. Gotta go. Sure. Go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't- <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. What do you mean? My back pocket is a void. Wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see. I see. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately, running around from place to place. So, you hear- Yep! It's always so lively this- Perfect! We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good oh places God, to eat along so the Oh so We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are gen- Order anything? Did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. No, we're good. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run... Alright, let's go. <laughs> 
She's so pretty. It's too bad she don't have a voice. This guy over here has a challenge for us. So let's check that off the list and then we go to the main quest. A dude and dude He's surfing the way. Really? I doubt. I've died multiple times. The docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. I'm a big boy. I'm fine. Oh, we're gonna try him out. <laughs> Another Wait, test and get behind me. I'll handle this. <laughs> Fry. Born of ice and frost. <laughs> Fry. Stuck. Oops. Suffocate. Fry. Off with you. Useless. Suffocate. Go. Success denied. Why do I keep jumping on this stupid thing? Born of ice and frost. Gather. <laughs> open. Yeah. 
All the work. <clears throat> Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yep. Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh. <laughs> That's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? Yeah, just recently. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushou dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. <laughs> just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh... Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. <laughs> She's like, hmm. You weren't doing anything. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Lee was just too hilly. Floating up and down so... Aw. Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Pyman will take all you guys! <laughs> uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Don't underestimate Pyman. She'll eat anything. <laughs> never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy! Oh, thanks. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. Oh, that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. You were not. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? No, ignore her. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever <clears throat> since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. I mean, it's, it's either okay. you talk Paimon or we listen to silence. To your chitter chatter. Aww, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants! <laughs> Don't forget your things, and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. 
Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. <coughs> okay, okay. Nice, I got tea leaves for <laughs> something. secret treasures. It's Lixing. Hello. <coughs> Rip. That's a wall. Down. I'm begging you. Okay. What is it? No one's gonna try <clears throat> any funny business when the street is this packed, right? I'm running too fast. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Uh huh. Those are my relatives. <laughs> wow, you have a lot of family. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. This is bad. They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless. <laughs> oh, did you do something horrible to them? <laughs> Look at our faces. We're like, is there a secret we should know about? No, it's not that. I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. Uh-oh. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but <clears throat> right now, we've got a job to do. All right, you hear that? We got mm, sneaks. The left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. <clears throat> Let's wait here for a second. Got me my <laughs> belief. What happens if we run into him? I guess it's game over if we run into him. She's gone! Let's go! Turn 
left. Run! Stick close, traveler. Okay, okay, I'm coming. To the right, and... Uh. <coughs> wow, you guys are good. I'm impressed. We've done this a lot. That was nothing. It was a piece of cake. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? As long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon. <laughs> hey, Uncle Drigway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songlu tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgui. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave <coughs> this to me. Excuse me, what did you just say? There's no R in his name. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Aw, you noticed what Paimon likes? It's the man for you, Paimon. <laughs> How long have you two known Gaming? Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort, really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work, said his joints were hurting due to the rain. That makes no sense. What did the rain do? Vaporize him? Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy <laughs> to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? Here we go. I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone else. And... Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, <sighs> it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern right. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. All right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Okay. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. <laughs> All right, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat. <laughs> Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. <laughs> anyway, is Gobin's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm, how should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't... You seem to be around the same age, so you might... Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. <laughs> can... Well, I can certainly... Wait, seriously? <laughs> yeah, it seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I th no thanks. We came all this way and we should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have one. All right then. Please do let me know. <coughs> awesome, let's go. I missed. <laughs> Can I not hit these? Oh, I can't. Okay.
What, what, what? Huh? Huh? Are you kidding? We'll come back to you. We'll come back. <laughs> Ooh, rocks. Ooh, a chest. I'll keep this close. Hey, it's Cloud Retainer with Founder. Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you are displeased to be in one's presence. I know Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thing about and what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! And what of it? The Qixing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Oh, so she's already heard about it. Did you expect <clears throat> one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us, or Tia something and Ho. Oh. Paimon can't be bothered to remember. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Tian Yun? <sighs> I just forgot. Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. <laughs> How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Oh, no. <sighs> One shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one... She's going shopping. Huh? Wait here? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Yep. Hey, now you too, Traveler! Ugh, just... Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chow Yun. Now, that sounds promising. <laughs> One more... Oh, two boxes will do. she's gonna freaking do. fall for it. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern no, right no, promotion. No, no, Buy three no. boxes, get 10% no. off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. <sighs> hmm. 20% off four boxes. It's not a, it's this a merchant steal. merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. <sighs> okay, stop at the four. Then four sh- Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Oh my gosh. Look at the magnificent design, <laughs> and the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? <laughs> Such a gift would no. be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. No. Cloud retainer, no. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems re Hmm. Ten! A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. That is agreeable. One will, um... I will have these but Of course, of course. <sighs> no. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, ma- I'm a toy merchant <coughs> from Fontaine. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. Well, uh, that is, of course, best of- <laughs> There is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If there is no harm in There's bringing it back no to... There's no scandal. My gosh, they're so dramatic. He's so confused, that poor guy. <clears throat> 
The other guy. Swindled her. That guy. Oh, it's so confused. <laughs> Did your shopping go smoothly? <sighs> Naturally. One may not delight in. Yep. She is swayed. And you too? Are you not? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kites. You are also planning to participate in the. <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. <laughs> one had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing. <laughs> oh, who will be partic- Shu Yu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. <laughs> wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xin Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't- Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? Ah, <sighs> tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. It is composed oh, of materials- <sighs> It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be a t Huh? Wait, you've been trying- All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guide to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. <laughs> it can float? What kind of invention is that? One calls it the floating toting device. <laughs> floating toting. Huh. She's look at her walk down the street. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of uh <laughs> not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just uh got a bit uns and wouldn't you know it? All the stuff in oh, Paimon say? What did she call it again? A crude pe Totally. After all, that is the... Never had dim sum at Shinyue kiosk before. But it should be quite the feast for sure. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. <laughs> uh, that's a thing. <laughs> wow, so much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back, then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What about you, <clears throat> Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill- Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up- <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. What does that mean? Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Let's think about this for a second, Gaming. You invited us to this awesome... That would explain why you try to keep your friends... <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? <laughs> huh? You know Xingqiu? Hmm... Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of ma Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. <laughs> my dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... 
he always wanted me to inherit the family business, to be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. It's not who I ever wanted to be. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wusho dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Nah, it could be a real job. It's just gonna be really hard. Oh, that's terrible! I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It, it's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyua Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. How, Paimon? How? Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we... Can I... We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite-making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite-making, Gami? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. <laughs> that title certainly humanizes her a bit. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried with some limited... <laughs> she came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> she doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that... Not something you can do? It'll probably just eat right through the paper and whoosh, down it goes. It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! Let's go! <laughs> oh no, Ganyu's falling asleep. Ganyu! So tired. Uh, you. Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <sighs> hmm. Apologies in advance. Oh no. Oh no. She's touched her. Oh, wait, <laughs> Shen -ha? Not this. <laughs> See, it worked. She's awake. You still don't know how to be around people, do you? Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? I 
I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. Huh. Was it that effective? No, nah, I think her horns are extremely sensitive. Chilly, huh? Mm, a master always says, a uh, pilot <laughs> doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Huh. I, I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without <laughs> fail. I... I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I... My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shenyun's kite-making workshop, right? Yes. Yep. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite your best friend didn't come with you. Well, Chi Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise! Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack <laughs> some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. <sighs> it was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop. My motivation for being here might be a little different. Well, we're all here, but where the- Who is it that <laughs> speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! <laughs> Master stopped to buy grilled tigerfish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Uh oh, Paimon, sorry, <laughs> Miss Illuminated Bird! Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. <laughs> Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so delicious. Paimon's life is complete. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating, yes? Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. <laughs> Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler! You're one right. will wait I under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Um, Shenha, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. There's probably only, what, a thin layer of skin? Unless they're solid bone. If they're solid bone, I don't see how they could be super sensitive. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered <laughs> what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. 
Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. <laughs> You're gonna eat her horns? Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh. Oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. <laughs> oh, no need. I'll just... refrain from t <coughs> Anyway, perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Huh? W I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. Paimon, we've known him for what, a day? No, <coughs> it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm, what shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Let's do a frog. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> One is looking forward to... What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue... If you are asking for one's own opinion, one, when giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. <laughs> one was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Oh, we actually haven't started <laughs> yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we should get started on our kite now. Let's go. You mean before we get smacked by a cloud retainer? Make it to soup. Oh, by the shit. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If nothing else, a paimon shaped kite could at least make sure you never get. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should ex. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. I love it. Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. Please, afraid. Guilty or something. That's you 90% of the time. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's go. Now that we've decided, look. <sighs> it's done! Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right, gather around everyone. Wanna see my kite? Hmm, let one take a look. Wow! Ganyu and 
Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Look at all of them. It's adorable. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. <laughs> if the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it on you? I did the painting. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. <laughs> or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. <laughs> And it, Paimon can see it too! Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. You painted from memory with your eyes closed? Oh my gosh. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are something. Yeah. Dang. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gaoming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Look at that. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> That's hilarious. I agree. It's great. Mm. Why does Paimon feel like you're laughing at her and not with her? <laughs> uh, I'm just admiring the expression you chose. Whether the kite soars high in the air or comes crashing straight to the ground, it's still fitting. <laughs> it's great. That's quite the impressive feat, actually. Is that... The Jade Chamber? Oh. Oh? Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Oh no. Oh, and to do so by making use of this? Crude piece of mortal machinery! Oh no. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Oh no. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer! Oh Traveler, no. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay. Oh, right? she'll be fine. I'm <laughs> more worried about the person who released the kite. She's right. She's 100% right. There's wind up ahead! Looks like we can glide over! This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious oh, indeed. No. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one <laughs> feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Oh no. Your concern is misplaced, oh, surely. No. <laughs> Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not <sighs> notice that kite. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Still thy tongue. 
If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. <laughs> One presumes that this kite <laughs> belongs to you. Huh? Oh no. Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. <laughs> Surely you can think of something to appease her. Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. <laughs> it would be better to stay silent oh my God. and retire at the earliest opportunity. They're both so scared of her. <laughs> we can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> you retrieve it. That is not our kite. <laughs> oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Oh no. Ah, you're an adeptus? Oh my God. <laughs> Please forgive us for any impropriety. Moon Carver, no one talks like that. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a <laughs> kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? <laughs> Moon Carver, your uh, excuse sounds so fake. Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding oh gosh, scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite. Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> well, and if that's all. Then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyin. Moon Carver? Moon Cheaper? <laughs> what are you doing here? We just gave him away. You? <laughs> okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. <laughs> then you are not angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. <sighs> One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. <laughs> We're leaving already? <sighs> <laughs> Where'd everyone go? They're back. Don't worry. The adeptus, both of them, they 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 survived. <gasps> Paimon's pooped. Uh, hi. Why are there only two of you left? After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh. What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude toward- A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship. And the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection. But lose it. And you lose that which links you to home. But Shenha, not every single child has parents as good as yours. 
even though Cloud Retainer isn't your direct parent, but she has filled the role really well for you. But not everyone is as lucky as you. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, <laughs> but others won't go anywhere near it? Are we talking about the, the exorcist dude? What's his name? Chong Yun? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We beat you here. We were just chatting. You don't have to... Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Night fast approaches. If you are other... Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh, worry not. <laughs> one has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more... Hey! Paimon's hungry too! It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. What, help eat it? So pretty. Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. They're so pretty. Look at them. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do we look? You look amazing. Huh? She asked them just like that? Yeah, Shen has a bit more... Uh... Upfront <laughs> about everything. You look pretty too, Ganyu! Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh... You both look so... Elegant and refined! Those outfits really suit you both! Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue... One would expect nothing less. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Clap- I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value <laughs> recently. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift, and the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content, as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Supreme cuisine machine is just good. This golden crab's particularly good. It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know it. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop. <sighs> oh well. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you. <laughs> one has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shenhe. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the co One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Huh. Oh, okay. 
What? This shall not do. No. She's like, absolutely not. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical. However, when one asked Minogius's opinion, he remarked that the train of the <laughs> skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal stomach. countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. And later... I think you're going on a tangent. <clears throat> uh, one, one means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our effort... Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep! Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all. And to make the necessary preparations, one shall see you in two days. What is that? What is that? That looks terrifying. <laughs> if it comes to life, I'm beating it up. When you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect. You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right. I've got the time. Where are the goods? Uh, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Well, here. Uh, uh... If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. What is that? <laughs> Coming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? <laughs> uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. The... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. Uh, a very important client has asked for you by name! You kinda have to come with us! Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if 
you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort... Fine. Uh, coming! Don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them. Um, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but the winter melon cake. It's <laughs> because. Hi. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you... Halt! Who goes there? A lizard. It appears oh that one's movements were overly <laughs> conspicuous. You guys don't look like bandits. <laughs> Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Oh my gosh. You guys don't look like bandits. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Ah! What do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. I mean, it is a bit dangerous considering those are adeptus, but they're a part of Cloud Retainer's plan, I'm guessing. <laughs> they don't look like bandits. A thorny foe, indeed. Let us depart oh and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Oh my God. Bandits don't act like that either. Uh-uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Away. Oh my god. Let us away. <laughs> Did you see how fast they ran the head dust? Coming! Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. But coming, I <sighs> if he had just stayed by my side and learned We just have to trust him! Let's go on ahead! We'd best- I knew I saw Cloud All Retainer. to plan. Okay, we should be good to stop here. Zhongli, what are you doing? Zhongli? Oh no, what is he doing here? <laughs> He's not part of the plan. Good sir, please, listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Your fellow adept I are the bandits. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? They do, all the time. But, um, not that kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon, are you okay? Ah, I see. <laughs> it appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need! If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Ordinary? Ordinary. Ordinary. Ordinary? <laughs> Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm... That would be lovely. <laughs> Jean-Louis, what are you doing here? reason 
to be worried. After all, Ga Ming... Ga Ming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well-known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Seems like Jean Li has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he he's a hard worker, yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <clears throat> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wushou dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? Me. <laughs> My concern is what happens when you get old. Man, my body already feels like it's 80. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, <laughs> Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Oh, he is quite, quite old. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Yes, yeah, cloud retainer. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? Yeah. <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, Clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. 
The blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. Well, yeah, he's kind of their... their Archon. <laughs> oh, Gaming is back! Hey, Gaming, we're over here! Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> a fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Hmm. Uh -huh. You suspect us, don't you? I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? We didn't, but yeah, kind of. Uh, uh, so that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? <laughs> Guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow I was never able to close that distance. <laughs> People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start. Like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Gamin, I mean, but they don't know how to be bandits. <laughs> they don't even know how to be human, okay? G give them some slack. Okay, they're trying their best. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. <laughs> I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Lee Yua Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little- I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? We are, yes. Zhang Li is a variable. We had to... He's not a part of the plan. <sighs> I appreciate it. I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. Oh. You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about- Will that even do anything? You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's time to put these people's skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhang Li. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> Ip Duck and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? <laughs> I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdak, but I... Unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. 
My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. It would be an honor. We'll see you up, Zhongli. You two have a nice chat, all right? <laughs> with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. <laughs> As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Hello. Oh, well, hi, Xiao. Xiao! You're here too? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn <laughs> once again? Do you dread it, Director Hu Tao, because she chases after ghosts? <laughs> what is she doing here? I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli, I might as well go pay my respects. Huh. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, Dad. It's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase <laughs> some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. <laughs> Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I like the traditional one. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, <laughs> I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? <laughs> Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. 
There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Absolutely. I'll be there immediately. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How's she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chao Yi if you have the time. Perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. I'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiang Li. See you later. See you next time. Uh. uh <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> wow, that was fast. Sit, Shinha, sit. Oh, no. You must be tired from your journey. <laughs> Shall I pour you a cup of tea? No. Or would you prefer something else to drink? You guys are horrible at acting. No need, I'm not tired. No, why'd you chill Shinha? She's too... She doesn't understand. They're gone, Master. Oh, no. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Oh, no. Yes, Master. We aim to give them... Oh, no. So, I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shenyun and Shanha doing here? <laughs> just how many people are involved? Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sunglo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down <coughs> one's considerable stash. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts. <clears throat> has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? No. <sighs> Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. <laughs> <laughs> Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shan Ka serious <laughs> right now? Yeah, they're horrible actors and uh, Cloud Retainer has not known how Shin Ha responds, so no. <coughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act. <laughs> mm, what what uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It huh. You already know of my past circumstances. <sighs> Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. I guess... Maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. Perhaps <laughs> I've been too hard on him. Look at his face. He's like, oh no, what are they doing? <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones <laughs> up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner no. along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <gasps> no! <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> yeah. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not s your aunts, uncles. They'll all do whatever they can to ha Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. <laughs> just think about it. Okay. Dad really has changed a lot, but I thank you. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. Of course not. She picked Shinha for this. Uh, hey, you two. Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. She should have picked Ganyu or Yao Yao. Perfect timing, actually. 
We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. Gosh. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? No, no. I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. Not at all. Certain on. Then I helped? Naturally. <laughs> your purity of spirit is one of. Oh, she is pure, all right. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's Charlotte. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? I suppose you could think of it that way. We've- The Fontaine? Then I'll need some time to adequate- Of course, of course! Please follow me! <laughs> Is this person also involved in your plan? <laughs> and here I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure- Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! <laughs> Huh? What? Auntie? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Oop. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. Yeah, considering she picked the one person that's... It's not really meant for that kind of act. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. As for the next step... Oh no! What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly! Mora as an investment, as Ningguang would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders... Be oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but... I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my back. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more- Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah! We're all friends here! Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I see, I see. Got it! Just leave it to us! Let's split up and make it happen! We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition! Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also- What? But I like it the old-fashioned way, Paimon, not the boring way. Welcome back! I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, that's good. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us! Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite! We wanted to buy one of those, um... Uh, Yes, here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us 
to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. All right, then. <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business. Should we get the mill with? Any pictures already? Ah, I need to load more film. I think 
I'll head off now, if that's okay? Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. <laughs> Hmm. Son. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I... I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. <sighs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? <laughs> Dad, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. Oh. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. <laughs> <laughs>